Your whey protein has nothing on this. This is a jar of eggnog. And you might think eggnog is that Christmas you know, celebration treat which makes you fat. It's not. Think about it. Eggnog's ingredients, eggs, milk, whipping cream, honey in my case, cinnamon, vanilla extract, nothing more. Perfectly healthy ingredients which make this amazing testosterone boosting drink. Think about it. Like, it has the cholesterol and healthy fats that you need for your hormonal development. It has proteins from the egg whites which are of course for you know, muscle building and everything. And it has milk, which is another delicious compound of literally everything you need for your body to function. Cinnamon, which has thermogenic effects. And let's get started. I'll tell you how exactly to make this. Just look at it. It's beautiful. And if you serve this chilled with cinnamon on top, it's game over. So this thing is the perfect drink for post-workout. You know, if you're done with working out, It'll give you literally all the ingredients, your minerals, your electrolytes, everything back, restored, you're ready to go. It's also great for before you sleep because your body actually makes testosterone when you sleep. Hope, hope this thing's recording. Uh, your body makes testosterone when you sleep. So if your body is provided with you know, the healthy fats it needs, saturated fats it needs to create testosterone, you're going to have a boost when you wake up in the morning. And this will take the shape of a boner if you are a man. And if you're a female, of course, you want to get a testosterone boost, but you will get the female endocrine systems are extremely complicated, and I don't want to get into that topic. Let's just say you'll be more hormonally healthy, regardless of male or female. All right, let's get back into the actual cooking video. We have eggs, milk, cinnamon, honey, heavy whipping cream, and vanilla extract, which is an optional, but you can have it. So eggs, you want the high quality, best quality eggs you can find. Usually the difference between the price of low quality eggs and high quality eggs is a couple bucks. If you're going to spend five bucks on anything, getting high quality eggs is one of those best places to spend it because there is a genuine difference between free range eggs and just your carton, you know, those thermocol car carton eggs you find in Walmart. Those hens have lived their entire lives in a coop, indoors, have never seen the sun. So they don't have any vitamin D in their own system. So their eggs don't have any vitamin D. So you don't get any vitamin D from eating those eggs. These hens from which I got these eggs, you know, they spend their life outdoors eating bugs and worms and whatever it is. And they have the micronutrients they essentially assimilate into their own body systems and lay in the form of eggs, which I eat, which keeps me healthy. So get the good quality eggs, my boys. Eggs. So that's one ingredient. Let's go ahead and process this ingredient. What we're going to do is I need a bowl, a second bowl. Okay. So we're going to separate the egg yolks from the egg whites. This is an important step. Don't mess it up. So what we're trying to do is crack the egg and catch the yolk. All right. Easy. Crack the egg, catch the yolk. That should be all you do. So I've already washed my hands and everything, so make sure you're being sanitary with this. So you catch the e a yolk, let the whites kind of just filter through your fingers, and that's how you separate them. So you kind of do want as clean a separation as you can get. The reason is the egg whites are made of proteins and the egg yolks are made of fats. So in the later stage of this recipe, we are going to be whisking the egg whites. And when you're whisking the egg whites, if there's any fat in it, it'll prevent the egg whites from, from becoming a foam. And it's not the end of the world or anything. Like if you, can get, if you get a little bit of egg yolk in your egg whites, it doesn't do anything. But that's just some more information to know to make this recipe perfect. So I'm trying to separate this as best I can. And by the way, guys, Huge thanks for visiting this channel. I literally started YouTube maybe a week ago and my main channel already has 7,000 subscribers. I didn't even know that was possible. I assumed that it's going to take six months to a year to get to 1K subscribers. But to get to 7K within a week, that's basically 1,000 subscribers per day, is just insane and mind-blowing. And I have my greatest gratitude for those 
who have subscribed and commented and everything. And so I make this amazing recipe for all of you to enjoy, make it for your family, make it for your friends, actually enjoy cooking and consuming food. If you think about it, you eat food every single day and your food is literally what transforms into your body and therefore your mind. Why wouldn't you gain the skills to make good quality, highly nutritious, amazing tasting food? That's a skill you're going to use for the rest of your life. You know, you, they all talk about high value skills like coding or God knows what at this point. But what about cooking? You know, if you have somebody to cook for you, good for you. But like most of us, we need to know our basic recipes to keep ourselves healthy. So yeah, let me get, just wash my hands and I'll get back into it. So by the way, soap, right? I'm going to use soap to wash my hands. The soap which you use might be killing your testosterone. Let me explain. So always read the ingredient list of the soaps and shampoos that you're using because a lot of them will have something called parabens. Parabens, which come in two forms, ethyl and methyl paraben, these essentially are endocrine disruptors. So without going into like how they function and everything, basically they mess your system up and they reduce your testosterone. So make sure you buy soap which doesn't have those. Yeah, so coming back, yolks, eggs, egg whites, that is separated. I'm also going to have to heat my milk up, which I need, I need a saucepan. Okay, let me get that real quick. All right, so where was I? Yeah, the milk. Okay, so I am using organic, grass-fed, grass-finished, whole milk, not that 2% or skim milk, why would anybody even drink skim milk? The best part of the milk is removed in skim milk. It's basically water. Like, I don't understand why people drink things like skim milk or 2%. The best part is in whole milk. Try to get raw milk if you can, but you know, most people, the best you can do in grocery stores is probably past, uh, low temperature pasteurized, non-homogenized milk. That's what I'm using. So it basically means that this milk is as natural as you can get and cream will actually rise to the top. That's how you know it's good quality milk. So it's one cup of whole milk, no skim milk allowed, guys. That shit, that shit's nasty. Um, heavy whipping cream. Nothing too special about this, just, just heavy whipping cream. I'll do one cup. So I'm doing a one-to-one -one ratio of the milk and heavy whipping cream. Uh, I think that's what tastes best, but it's completely up to you what you want. Try to experiment with it. it this will determine the thickness and consistency Oh yeah, it's good, of the end product. So, you know, depending on your taste, you can change this ratio. So I put it on the heat. I'm not trying to make it boil. I'm trying to get it just below boiling. So just when it has steam coming off, but it's not actually boiling, that's the ideal place to stop. That's what's going to essentially kill the bacteria and, and potential salmonella in the egg. So when that's on the heat, we are going to Work with the eggs. Honey. So eggnog recipes traditionally, like the Christmas ones, contain a sh I try to not curse on this channel. Calm, peace, clean content. So honey, instead of sugar, because sugar is cancer. Honey is the good stuff, especially if you get high quality honey. So what's high quality honey, right? If you're trying to find out. It's if you, when you see raw and unfiltered, that's a good sign. But if you can get unheated, if you can get unheated honey, that's the ultimate best quality honey that you can find. But it's hard to find though, so don't stress out, just get the raw and unfiltered. So good. Just natural ingredients, you know, high quality natural ingredients, just, they're so much better for you and taste so much better than anything you can get in like a fast food restaurant. Like this eggnog, which I'm going to teach you, literally tastes better than anything you can find in any fast food restaurant. I promise you. All right. So milk mixture is on the heat. Let me wash my hands a little bit. I'll just wipe them off. We're going to whisk these eggs. So let me think. Okay. So you basically, okay.
So you're done when you see these peaks forming in the egg whites. That's perfect. That's exactly what I'm looking for. Really, really nice. Okay. So that's what I was talking about. Like if you had a little bit of yolk in the egg whites, it wouldn't rise up as much. It's not a huge deal. You're still going to get the same nutrition. It's like, oh boy. No, I'm good. Um, but this is just going to be nicer. I don't know. So, okay. Egg whites have been whisked and that's good. It's ready to go. We have the yolks. Yeah, that's basically it. All we're doing is waiting for the milk. Mine is just heating up slightly. Oh, let me give you a warning. So this, this eggnog has four eggs. And basically, if you're not used to eating eggs, your body is going to have a little bit of a reaction towards it. Put, to put it bluntly, the first two days of having a lot of eggs, your farts are going to smell like sulfur because eggs contain sulfur. However, your body's going to learn from it and adapt to it, and there won't be any problem. Like, you'll be fine. You'll be whatever you, you were before consuming the eggs. So in just, a, just a warning, kind of gross. I don't want to talk about it in a cooking channel, but, you know, this is not a cooking channel. This is like nutrition, well-being, etc. And at some point, I want to talk about other topics on this channel also. Things like, you know, philosophy of warfare or something like that, like deep topics. Uh, uh, anyway, milk? Yes, okay, so next step. We're going to combine the ingredients, essentially. So the egg white foam goes into this hot milk. All of it can go in at the same time, no issue. I th remember, this contains the honey, so the honey is going in as well. Get in there. All right. Yeah, buddy. Okay. So this is going to be, we're going to combine this, and then we have the egg yolks. We're going to break them, mix them up a little bit, put them in, mix it, mix it, mix it, mix it, mix it, mix it, mix it. Put some into this, mix this. Just trying to get all of it in because, you know, this entire thing, the yolks especially, are full of micronutrients, zinc, magnesium, selenium, everything that your body needs to secrete hormones. So this is literally the stuff which gets converted into testosterone. So you don't want to waste a single drop of this stuff, especially because it's expensive. Like I bought the best quality ingredients to make this thing. So I might as well get every last drop. Like these eggs, like this carton of eggs, cost I think like $7, which, you know, I happen to be blessed and fortunate to be able to afford it without too much concern. But, you know, um, hopefully you find yourself in a fortunate situation such as myself. So, yeah, combine the ingredients. Keep going, keep going. I think it's probably combined enough. Oh yeah, I forgot. So vanilla extract, this is the most optional ingredient in, in this entire recipe. It's a little bit of a splash for taste. And make sure you don't get the, like the Kroger brand, like the cheapest vanilla extract, because usually those are synthesized. You want to at least make sure that it's coming from an actual plant. A lot of ingredients in our stores, they're all fake. They're all just terrible for your body. Not necessarily the vanilla extract, but you know, other things. So that's what this channel is going to kind of teach, try to teach you, protect you from the harms of industrialized food processes, essentially. And you know, make better choices in the grocery store, which results in directly in better hormonal health, which results in better um, like mental health, which increases your productivity, your financial status, your social status, your dating life, everything goes up. So we have this mixture. I think we have all the ingredients combined. Very good. Well, let me grab one of these glass jars. Try not to use plastic jars. Plastic jars will leach chemicals into your food. Like literally, they will leach microplastics and chemicals into your food, so no plastic. And then we have the mixture ready to go. I'm going to hopefully not make an ass of myself on camera and pour this thing nice and clean. 
And deep breathing, guys, keeps the stress away, right? Yeah, yeah, let's go, let's go, let's go. Almost, almost. A little bit more in here, but so I guess I didn't calculate too well, right? I, maybe, maybe I should have reduced the milk a little bit. I have more than what one jar can contain. So that's fine. I mean, I have more jars. I have more jars. That's one. Pour it in. And I also have some leftover from a previous batch. So, yep, 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 there it is. So, when do you serve this thing? So after you make it, I have like three jars or two and a half jars of the stuff. So that's really good. This is gonna, like I do one jar per day, four eggs per day. That's it, this seems like the right amount for me. And basically you wanna chill this. You wanna put it in the freezer, uh, not the freezer, the fridge. And it's gonna taste amazing overnight when you have it the next morning. But even if you chill it for just an hour or two, it's still really good. So what you'll do is, well, for the sake of B-roll and to make this video you know, comprehensive, I will pour some and serve. Let me grab this. Let me put these away. So let's go. Let's have, let's have some eggnog. I mean, it's not ideal because it's still kind of warm. Ideally served chilled, but it's still going to taste good though. So let's go. Eggnog. Here we go. Mm. Oh yeah, it's good. It's good. You can kind of taste the honey. This is the ultimate esoteric eggnog elixir. Let me move these out to get that front view. Yeah, buddy. Add some cinnamon. Beautiful. And cinnamon has thermogenic effects. So essentially it's a fat burner. And that is a drink fit for kings. Just look at that. Like, look at that. Compare your whey protein bullshit milkshake to this thing, all right? Let me, oh yeah, so I like to kind of stir the cinnamon in. So that's up to you. Let's see how this thing tastes. Perfect. A little bit too much cinnamon, I think, but. Perfect. So it's, it's warm, it's not, you know, the right temperature, it's not the way it's supposed to be served. So I'm gonna put it all in the fridge and after a couple hours, then I'm gonna have it. So it's been a while since I uh, finished the video. So I got my eggnog nice and chilled. Got it by my fireplace, you can see it. And let's see how this thing tastes. Yep, it's perfect. So it doesn't taste anything like eggs. It doesn't even taste like milk, really. It tastes like custard. It tastes like, but yeah, it tastes like custard with the hint of honey and vanilla. So if that sounds yummy to you, it sounds good to you, you need to make this. 100% need to make this. Try it and comment if you liked it or not. And I'm not asking just for, you know, the YouTube engagement. Like, actually, I want to know, like, did you succeed? Did you like it? 